Hey there. I've decided to weaponize space. There's a lot of stuff up in orbit. It's getting kind of crowded up there. And I've decided to do something about that. I've downloaded the uh, Lazor system plugin. I've got the basic Lazor, which comes with a bunch of neat utility lasers, like a tractor beam and a rangefinder and stuff like that. I also got these uh, powerful lasers, the sunbeams. They're up here on the front and some missiles that aren't lasers, but they're missiles so close enough, I guess. Using these, I've built this Space su Superiority Striker Vehicle. You'll note a hell of a lot of booster here. That's because this craft is designed to get into orbit, do its business, and get back down before the enemy knows what's what. Also, very shortly, you'll see me begin to gravity turn into a retrograde orbit. Of course, everything else is going around prograde, so this gives me a certain element of surprise and a much longer window of attack opportunity. Okay, now we're going to survive launch, at least, which is good. Oh, that's always a maybe, maybe not sort of thing. Let's see, what's our periapsis? 40. So we're not in a stable orbit, but oh well. We can fix it up pretty quickly now. Okay, actually, let's give us a bit more of a apoapsis. Thusly. Nope, not thusly. Need to open that up. And now thusly. And... That should do it. It's a strange sort of rendezvous because I want to be at the same place at the same time as my target, but unlike most rendezvous, I don't want to stay there for very long, just long enough to shoot some holes in the guy and get on my way. Hence the retrograde orbit again. So let's do some maneuver node magicking here. Let's put that in there. Oop. And a bit more voop. That's enough voop. I th think no, a bit more voop. There's the voop. Uh, a bit less. Okay. I don't even know what voop means in this context. Just made a sound and decided to go with it. That describes most of my communication, unfortunately. Should probably look into that. Almost worrying to see this much debris flying in the other direction, but I know scale and I know that I'm not going to hit anything without meaning to. And even if I did, since I'm in time warp, I'll just phase right through it, like magicness. Oh, I should probably also extend my solar panels now that I'm on the night side of the planet. But if I don't do it now, I'll forget later. Okay. Oh, time to burn. Let's go. And cut off. Close enough. Also, inclination variance of, I think, two and a half degrees. It'll be difficult to do this with the display screwed up. I'll actually, no, it won't. I'll just have to aim for a different number. Or I could just wait for it to flip around. Like... That? Yeah. There, 180. That makes sense. Going in the exact opposite direction of what the game thinks I ought to be doing. But screw that, I have things to explode. And time warp to now. Stop, stop, time warp. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five seconds to maneuver, four, three, two, one, go. Go faster. Come on. Come on. Oh, got a bit cagey there. Come on, just a bit more. There. It's probably fine. Eh, it still says negative 180. So let's see, where's our target? I tried to time this so we'd get up to about the same place at the same time. Oh, there goes the space station. Don't worry, space station is safe from me for now. But there's our target. Let's fast forward until we are a bit closer to our target. And... Yeah, about like that. Now, let's bring weapons online. Let's push this button here. And it already sounds like laser. You can see we have a little guiding beam here that shows where we're targeting. Nowhere in particular yet, but now I can go to its targets sub-panel. Scroll down until I see Arkanoid. Oh, it's already selected. Oh, right, because it's selected in orbital view and it uses that. Now, I can click this button here, target cam, and get this fancy view. Modules, and that'll give me my firing control. Oh, and I'm spinning, so better not shoot until I am stabilized and all that nonsense. Okay, 500 kilometers and closing very rapidly on my target. Unsuspecting targets. And get in there. There we go. Point it forward. Now, very shortly, we should be able to see it on this target cam here. Here, I'll expand that so you can see. That's about as expand as it gets, but good enough. Where do I put this? Where do I put this? I'll put it... Oh, bother. Now it's too big to put anywhere. No! No, no, no. UI is trying to kill me. Uh, here, I'll do this. There. Yes. Okay. Everyone can see? Good. Yes. Uh, let's... We're not pointed directly at our target, though. Let's move over to here. Whoa. And the target cam is going weird. Okay. Was getting a bit wobbly there. But seems to be doing fine now. And let's fast forward a bit. Let's close in on our target and then explode it. I think, wait, where's our, where is it? It's gone. Oh, whoa, there it is, pop in. Okay, you can see it now here in this little target cam here. Whoa. Oh, I can zoom with the thing there, that's neat. But yeah, you can see it now. Sort of a blobby penis shaped craft. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Lasers, 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 lasers. Oh crap. I think I exploded myself. No, but I was about to. I was about to explode myself. Well, I've missed it on this pass. Let's try another pass around the planet. I'll give it two more. If that doesn't work, I'll just go home a failure. Okay, we're coming up on another pass. I like this one. We're scheduled to come a bit closer this time I think it's hard to tell though so let's see target is there uh, 70 kilometers and 50 kilometers 40 30 and 20 10 firing fire fire fire, fire. shoot 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 the thing no dice didn't even scratch it. You know, I think this whole retrograde orbit might be a bad deal. Okay, screw this. I'm going home now. Got my reentry planned out now. Coming down apparently in a desert. Hopefully, little thalmer here brought some water. It's gonna need it. And any moment now, we should be getting some heating. 
This craft was designed to be reusable, at least the top bit, the part here is. That is to say, it's designed to be able to land and be in good enough shape that you could just put more fuel in and stick it on top of another launch vehicle and have it go again, but that's not really tested. I've got a three parachutes on it, and that should be enough for anybody, and I should probably turn those on. First, we lighten the load by deploying the missiles. Then we immediately, apparently, uh, launch our parachutes. That was a improv on the part of the spacecraft. I thought I had set those to happen after I jettisoned the missiles. But no matter. It should be fine. With those parachutes and about a third of a tank of fuel, I will certainly be able to land this thing on its tail. I'm not sure why the uh, lasers are waving about in the air the way they are, because the control system is turned off. It shouldn't be targeting anything. I appear to be targeting myself. I should probably knock that off. Altitude down to two kilometers now, and that's above sea level. We're probably coming down in the mountains here. Come on. Shoot. Well, I don't know why I say things like, this will be a reusable craft, or this will be a spaceship that strikes fear in the heart of my enemies or anything I should just stop talking don't make promises just say I'm gonna play the game and whatever happens is whatever was supposed to happen and you'll like it actually no you probably won't but you get what I mean so yeah I do like this mod it's a great mod it's it gives a lot of new mechanics to play with I'm gonna be doing some more filming with this I'll probably try and do another round of this once I've worked out the kinks and space tactics but for now I'm just going to fall down to the ground slowly and in shame thud my guns fell off boo